Welcome to the testing world. So now we are all set to update our first test case with data provider. Data provider means as of now we have seen my test case is executing with the one data only. So now we can execute our test case with the multiple data and for that we are going to use a test ng annotation with the name data provider. So what we are going to do here we are going to create a data generator method with static set of data means we will define the data in the code itself. Later on we will convert it into the excel but as of now we will define the data in the coding itself. For that we are going to use a data provider annotation of the test ng and then we are going to use this data into the test case and we will see when we are going to execute my test case is going to execute with the multiple data. How to do that? I am coming to Eclipse. Here that's my test case. I am coming below to the test case and creating a method public void test data generator. Here I need to use an annotation with the name data provider and we need to give a name of this data provider is static. You can give any name over here. I'm just giving whatever the name you want. Here we need to create a two dimension array. So if you notice, I'm just creating integer type of array just to make you understand this. We can pass data like this. That's my one array. If you want to make string type of array, so I can write like this and here I can pass the data. You name one, pass one. It's a simple string array. String single dimension array. One thing that we need to notice whenever I'm creating any class in Java, all classes having a parent class with the name object. As we know, string is also a class in Java. So the parent of the string will be object. Here we need to create a two dimension array of this object class. So here I'm passing object and that's a two dimension array. Here we need to pass the data in the form of row and column. Two dimension means row and then columns. So first of all, that will be my complete array. Inside this, we can define each row in the curly braces itself. So that's the complete array. That's the first row of the array. In the same way, comma, second row, comma, third row. So if you notice, now we have a two dimension array of the type object. And I'm just taking the name data. You can give any name. And here we are giving data in the form of row and column. So that's my first row with two columns. Second row with two columns, with two columns, third row with two columns. So if you notice, we have total three rows and two columns. I'm returning this array from here. This data provider method, which we are going to create, always return two dimension array of of the object type. So here on the place of void, we need to mention object and it's not a single data. It's a two dimension array. So we need to mention this is a two dimension array, which is returned by this test data generator. So a very simple approach that I have shown you, we need to create a two dimension object array and we are passing the data here, say static data we are passing. That's the first row, second row, third row. And this data provider method, which is generating the data, generated data is generated by this line. In this line, we are returning this object array. Now I want to use the data which is generated here in the test case. So I'm coming to the test case level. And here we need to define which data provider you are using. So I'm using the data provider with the name static. Also, when this test method is going to get data from the data provider, so every time one row will come to the test case. So it means first time it will send this row, second time this row, this data, third time this data. So every time one row is coming to this test method. 
in that row we have two columns so i'm taking first data store into this variable this argument and second data store into this argument so if you understand when this data provider is returning first row it will be a two data so first data will come here and second data will come here and i'm just changing this like this and this so one thing you will notice we did not use any loop over here data driven means it will automatically started to run until we are getting data here we are getting three data so three data will pass to this test case this test case will run with the three different data and it will automatically execute three times we need not to define any loop over here everything is done for data driven approach we need to create a method which is generating a two dimension array of the object type all the data is defined over here and it is returning the data when we are returning any data we need to define the type of it so i'm just defining it's a object type of two dimension array data provider it's the annotation and we need to define name hello friends hope you are enjoying our videos and if you find this video is beneficial for you please subscribe our videos by clicking on this subscribe button after subscribing you will get immediate notification for all the videos which we are going to upload happy learning this data will be used in the test case so on the test case level i'm defining from where the data is coming which is my data provider so data provider is static that's the name second thing we need to define the arguments here means in every row it is two data so we need to define two arguments over here if in every row we have three data i'm just taking example like you have three data here so in each row you just mention three data like this so structure will be same a minor change will be there minor change is that here we are ac accepting two data which is coming from the data provider now i'll have to accept three data like it will send username password and whatever the data so i'll store the third data into the a as of now we do not have this third data so i'm just removing that part like this one more thing the data which is coming here stored into the uname and pass so now i'm passing this uname argument and the pass argument as a test data so whatever the data which is coming from the data provider will be stored in this these arguments and these argument i'm using as a test data so everything is set here i'm just running it i'm executing this so you will notice it will start browser three time run the test case it will start the browser run test case with the first data so you will notice you name one and executing that browser is closed now it will start browser again will execute the same test case but this time you will notice it will execute with the second data so you name two and again it is going to execute with the third data so we have converted our simple test case to the data driven test case which is which is executing with each of the data which is coming from the data provider method so a basic data driven approach has been implemented where my test case started running in automatic loop depend on number of data which we have placed and it will automatically start in a loop with different set of data like we have three data so it is running three time if we have 100 data it is going to execute 100 times one more thing that we, you need to notice here on the result if you notice a result is coming with each data set it shows first you are executing this with this data it is working fine then second data it is again working fine third data it is working fine so we are getting result as per the different data so in future if particular on a particular data my test case is failed so it will show that on this particular data my test case is failed so here a basic data provider or i'll say data driven structure is generated i'm going to improve that structure in the next session i'm going to read the data from the excel sheet but as of now a basic structure is generated still a lot of improvement are pending here we will do these improvements in the next session that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video
Hi friends, hope you are enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities. If you are interested to buy any video course or all video course, you can call or WhatsApp us on this number. Also, you can be in touch with us by using Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter. Happy learning!